All right, this is Things We Need to Know Thursday, and this is Shavor and Rest TV. All right, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification bell on. So each time we upload a video like this, you will get it right there on your phone. And today is Thursday, okay? It is the 31st of December, all right? So this is the last year of 2020. So for those of you who was crying to see 2020 go out, who was like who cannot wait to see 2020 just say goodbye so this is it this is the last day okay so in a couple more hours we made it we made it out of 2020 okay so I'm with a lot of people who couldn't wait to see 2020 goes by because in our life we never seen so much debt right we never seen so much debt before and we are not in uh a world war like a world war one or world war two right but we are in world war three all right and this is the thing that i have to say 2020 was okay and this is the last day we was actually in a spiritual warfare all right and i say this on my video before and I will say it again. What our eyes can't see, don't limit yourself to that, all right? There is spiritual warfare going on, and spiritual warfare could actually cost more life, all right, in the real world than actually a World War I or a World War II. So instead of we looking for a World War III coming, we basically had it already, right? and we are in the end of it so we move forward and we are thinking what have we we sit back we're looking back we're looking back at the year in review now like what have we what have we gained from 2020 what have what what did we lost from 2020 right did we actually learn a lesson from 2020 like I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that we haven't seen. Uh, we never know what we would be living to see, okay, in 2020 that happened. And it actually does happen, okay? So now, are we going to do the same thing that we've done in 2020? And like I say, if, if did we make any progress? Did we save any money? Did we read any books? Did we did any research on black history did we did we accomplish anything that is beneficial for our growth and we're not talking about physically food that you cook in your house right we're talking about knowledge okay we're talking about understanding understanding whichever one you want to say we want to know what growth what maturity have we gain in our knowledge have we become to as we get to the point that we know ourselves that we know who we are that we know who we are from that we know why a lot of people hate us are we are we unite as yet are we decide to get organized are we decide to start help black um help help black people business are we decided to start to get each other right are we begin to know that already it's time for us to stop killing each other we have to learn something from that because that was a whole year and it was a whole year of basically de destruction and domination it was a whole year of, of spiritual warfare against us now we are in the end of the year and what we are what we are facing with we are facing with COVID-19 vaccination I could say this now everyone have a choice everyone should should by now all that thing that all everything that we had faced and we had been through in in this year 2020 if we come to the end of the year and we still here and you want to go take a COVID-19 vaccine that mean you are not you are not positive I mean you, you you're not doing any, any thinking for yourself someone else is thinking for you if we just gonna accept this 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 thing without even thinking without even research about it 
like for example they talking about COVID-19 vaccine what happened to China I haven't heard nothing about China why China not on the news anymore all of a sudden everyone is just curing China all of a sudden I never heard anyone take any vaccine in China and everything is done over there I don't see no one wearing masks in China anymore what is going on why all of a sudden it just gets so quiet in China everything is an agenda nothing never seems to be exactly how it is and I always say this if a country cares, cares about you they will not put poison in the food that you consume every day why would they want to come up with a vaccine because they care about you now and all all of your life generation on top of generation they never care about you there is some trick that is going on so we're going in tomorrow all right in 2021 and i hope we leave our habits that we don't that we that we don't need all right a part of our life in 2021 leave it behind leave it in that air and i'm hoping that a lot of us have goals of success goals of saving goals of accomplish certain things that we have never accomplished in our life before right and i'm not talking about any new year's revolution now these things are for people who just follow what people what what people does all right new year revolution these things are for people who follow what people does because we all know that that doesn't work right we have to be a different person we 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 are not going to think about any new year in new year's revolution we are i'm trying to make sure that we get ourselves together to unite and organize and start loving each other in the right way how we're supposed to supporting each other right and most of us is our mindset that we have to get correctly right it's just our mindset is not right okay once sometimes when someone speak to you you could tell that their mindset is not there like their mindset is is off right i hope we could bring something positive into the new year and have a mindset to accomplish certain things if we haven't accomplished it as yet right so this is things we need to know thursday all right and things we need to know if we keep on doing the same thing we cannot get a different result we have to do different things to get different result we are going in a different year so let's go into a different year with a different mindset all right let's go into a different year with a mindset of success of unite of getting together of supporting each other business all right and let's get into the mindset of sticking to each other and stop killing each other we have to get into that mindset if we could change our mindset if we could correct our mindset it will be a whole different world all right there's no individual wealth anywhere in this world there's no individual success we want to do it as a <clears throat> we want to do it as a group all right we want to do it together all right when we when we get things done together it is best for us i use this example before and i will use it again wherever time something happened in china you never heard a specific chinese person take claim for it it will always be the chinese company or the chinese like everybody take claim of it no specific one person never say i'm the one who do it that is so smart you know why because in case their enemies are looking for someone to kill they don't know who to kill because they never one person never take claim to nothing it's always a combination right so this is how we have to start doing things i'm not saying to follow the chinese but i'm saying we have to start doing things on a systematical basic not just one person because if you put that one person out there 
when that one person die everything goes cold we want to do something and they will put put it in history and say the blacks does this right they unite they organize and they get this thing together and this is what they make happen we want to look at it like that so this was things we need to know Thursday and as usual okay don't forget to like this video share comment subscribe turn your post notification bell on so each time I upload a video like this you'll get it right there on your phone and I'll see you in the next video